In this video, we're going to take a look at a dual camera doorbell by Lindo. What's up, people? Welcome to the channel. So in this video, we're going to take a look at the Lindo dual cam video doorbell. This is a 2K doorbell. So besides a motion detection, this also has human detection and package detection, which is a nice little feature because then you won't get all those false alarms that you get with other doorbells. It also has two-way talk. You can adjust the activity zones, infrared night vision, and then this is IP67 waterproof. All right, guys, so I got everything taken out of the box. As you guys can see here, this is what the doorbell is going to look like. Really nice finish on this doorbell. Up here, as you guys can see, is your standard camera that you would find on any video doorbell. But the cool thing about this is it also has a second camera right here on the bottom. And as you guys can see, the bottom portion is angled a little bit to give you a better view of the ground that's right in front of this doorbell. So when you're getting a package delivered to your house, this second camera is gonna do a really good job being able to view that package, along with the top camera being able to view anything in front of your house. Right in the middle here is the button for the doorbell. On the back here, you have a power button. You also can wire this, you can hardwire this, and this does have a built-in battery. To charge that built-in battery, there's a USB-C port. And then this is where your back plate is going to attach to. So super easy five minute install on this. You're just gonna mount this back plate to your house and then the doorbell will slide right onto the back plate. Real easy to do. And that's how you will mount it. Now right on the bottom there is a hole to take the doorbell off of the back plate, there is this key that's stored in the chime, and this is a plug-in chime that you also get with the doorbell. So all you're gonna do is take the key and you'll be able to slide this key right into the bottom there. You'll hear a click and then it's going to detach and you'll be able to take the doorbell right off of the back plate. Then you'll take this in the house and you'll plug it into the USB-C and you'll charge it that way. Now if you do have it wired, you won't have to recharge this, but this does have a rechargeable battery feature or it can be wired. When you're done with the key, just store it away back into the chime. All right, inside this sleeve here, you're gonna get some extras, you get your user manual, you get your USB-C to USB-A cable. And then on this side, you do get an angled bracket, which is really nice that they supply this in with the doorbell. You also get a little template to mount it to your house. And then one more in here. This is going to be all your screws and everything inside of here to mount it, all your hardware. All right, guys, so I just jumped into the live view of the Lindo dual camera doorbell, and I'm just doing a screen recording of my phone right now. So as you guys can see, you got the nice view up top with the top camera, and then right below, you also got the view of the bottom camera, which captures a lot of stuff right below the camera. And you can zoom in and out on both cameras. Each camera is pretty much just individual cameras that you can control. So really, really nice. As you guys can see, the top camera and the bottom camera don't match up perfectly as far as the picture goes. So as you guys can see, my flower pot right there in the top and then the bottom is a little off but not a, a that's not a big deal to me at all i just like the ability to be able to see a wider range of area but it really gives you a wide view there pretty much this top camera which you see here is what my ring doorbell shows so i don't get too much of the porch i might get the very edge of my porch here but that's just about it. So really getting a lot more viewing angle with this camera. So that was the live view there, guys. You can jump into your settings here. Got a bunch of different settings. You got your motion detection, 
So it's going to allow you to do human detection. So it's only going to trigger when humans are detected. And then all detections right above that is going to be events will be triggered by all motion detected. So you can choose either one of those. Here is the sensitivity of the motion detection. You can put it low, medium, or high. During my testing, I actually had it up on high. And then the activity zones, you can choose your activity zones here. So you can move the square around depending on how much area of coverage that you want. And it's pretty cool too, because you kind of can customize this square to fit your area how you want it. And then just hit the check mark and then it'll save it. You got your package detection that you can turn on and off right at the bottom there. You got auto response here so you can change your auto response, your battery setting. So I've had this on for about two and a half months with a lot of packages getting delivered to my house. And uh, it's down to 14% right now, but I'm going to tell you guys, I probably had 10, probably 10 with the family leaving, you know, going to school, going to work, me and my wife. Uh, we got two kids coming in and out of the house. You're probably going to get 10 to 15 events a day at least, along with the Amazon, UPS, and then the mail per carrier too. So I don't think that's too bad. Almost three months and you're at 14%. You got your video settings here. You got HDR. You can turn on and off. You got your night vision. I got that on auto. You got your audio settings. You can turn the voice volume up on the doorbell or the ringtone. You got your notifications here. You got your doorbell chime. Installation of the doorbell. You can always go back to. So a bunch of different settings here that you guys can play with. Then right in the middle here, you got your events. So each event is going to have what type of detection, if it was human detection, motion detection, or package detection, which is nice. One of the things that I did notice with this doorbell is when you don't have a subscription, your video length is going to be limited between 10 to 13 seconds. So unless you do a subscription, you're only going to get 10 to 13 seconds of record time per event. And then also it's only going to go back four days. So if you do plan on getting the subscription, the subscription I think is $2.99 a month or for the whole year, it's going to be $29.99. And then that's going to unlock being able to get more record time and view more of your history. As you guys can see, it's got two brightly lit LEDs right on the bottom there that does a great job illuminating the ground in front of the doorbell. Alright guys, so that's going to be about it for this video. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you guys are interested in the Lindo dual camera doorbell, I'll put some links in the description box below. There will be Amazon affiliate links. Using those links really help out the channel. If you guys got any questions or anything, post them in the comment section. I'll do my best to answer them. Until the next one, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.